tested. Norman Chan, welcome to Apps of the Day. Ooh, it's a day and you have apps on an iPad. This, I guess it's just app of the day. Oh, okay. Just one app. Just one app. Uh, this is Groove Coaster. This is from the same guy who made uh, that uh, Space Invaders Infinity Gene game mm -hmm. last year. So it's like a crazy, it's almost like a, like a Mizuguchi game in that it is very beat centric. You're saying it's a Japanese rhythm game. It is a Japanese rhythm game. It is very Japanese and very rhythmy. I, I don't know what that means. I'm feeling a little uneasy about it. Well, enjoy. The idea is that you ride a coaster okay. and you tap to make the groove happen. So you're some type of... Uh, what is that? A helium it looks like an atom. atom? Yeah, helium would right? be There's the... Right, there's two, two uh, electrons there? Two, I don't know. Uh, two electrons. We can't tell what's in the core, but yeah, uh, yeah it seems like uh, in the nucleus, rather. Uh, so yeah. You're riding some some type of light rail? Yes, a light. You're just It's just a line, I believe. A line rail, light line. And you tap to make the beat happen. Now, this is on medium. If you play rhythm games, this is pretty easy. It gets fiendishly difficult. Yeah, I see hard. you're just playing with one finger right now. There's like Luminous, but for people with one finger. Like Stephen Hawking. It's less puzzling. Game. That's that's with super offensive, nose. dude. Just by puffing. Yeah. Uh, tap tap tap. Yeah. Oh. So that's the end of the first level. Okay. Uh, the difficulty ramps up. There's all sorts of swipes and crazy stuff like that going on. We'll play a higher difficulty. I want to see song a very difficult game. Here in a moment. So, a difficult level. Uh, there's all sorts of ratings. <laughs> you only got a B. There's achievements. I I did not 100% this. But I have unlocked hard mode for the exact same song. The interesting thing is there are different paths through the coaster. So if you are highly accurate, you will mm -hmm. get a different path and an opportunity to score higher. So that's how they reuse the same song. That is how they reuse the same song. So this is a much more difficult song. This is a song I like a lot less. I got a C when I played it on medium. All right. Uh, now I, it's on hard. My save got corrupted, so I lost a lot of stuff that I had done earlier with this. Uh, and I don't know exactly why that was. But I think it was because I plugged it into HDMI. So... Are, does it go faster along this rail in the hard oh. mode, or just more items to hit? Uh, more items, different types of items. I do like some that of them will move in off the line. It's kind of the line is in 3D. It's not just a 2D space, so you can't necessarily tell how close these dots are yes. until the perspective changes. There's a lot of that, especially on the higher difficulty bottom, levels. Bottom, bottom, bottom. And like I said, your accuracy matters because it changes the direction of the rail. Oh shit! Uh, it changes the direction of the rail. Uh, one of the other things that happens is you can ad lib. I just did that. As long as you stay on the beat, you'll get bonus points for uh, for ad libbing in between the beats. Wow, very visual. Yeah, if you are into recreational enhancements, uh, this might be a game that you will be into. So this is only for iPad. I feel like this is a game that could work really well on uh, iPhone also. I'm not sure. I think this is actually universal. Okay, that's good. Uh, it'll be on the little thing at the bottom of the screen right now. You're going to hear all this song it's like in your head the whole week. There are a lot of songs in this game, too. Uh, that's the other thing is there are a ton of levels. I played uh, pretty much like an hour and a half straight last night and didn't see the end of the levels. Um, th there's a wide range of difficulty. It's pretty compelling. It's a good game to play on the bus, too, because there's no motion controls if you're looking for commute-friendly games. Yeah. Not too much uh, thinking. It's not like a Shibuya or, a, you know... Or even Luminous. Or Dungeon Raid or yeah. any of that. Uh, You're just tapping. The thing about this is you do need to have music on because it's impossible without music. Right. And if you have no rhythm, you are not going to like this game at all. Oh, it's an awful lot of misses. And I know. I couldn't get the, the beat right on that. It's, uh, but I'm going to ad lib there in the middle. Oops. And then I'm going to miss the next note. We're almost done with this song. Any more questions about Groove Coaster, Norman Chan? No. I, I want to play some and is the soundtrack available that I just want to listen to the songs uh, not in the app I bet you can buy it someplace though mm. uh, there interesting note there are ways to customize the game with micropayments in the game it seems like every game I look at now has micropayments in some form or another uh, I'm not a huge fan of that uh, other stuff that changes you can change your avatar uh, which gives bonuses either makes things easier or more difficult or lets you generate more points uh, let's see if we can go there. So there's a bunch of different avatars. You unlock more as you go. I want to be a neon atom. This this is the spark avatar. Uh, this shows you the most accurate track regardless of how well you're doing. So it's going to wait to increase the difficulty. Some of them give you more points. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. There's skins and all sorts of other things you can unlock. Mm. It's a pretty pretty deep game for something that is a very simple mechanic. Uh, I quite like it. Patrick Clever recommended it. Props to Patrick. Very cool. So that is Groove Coaster. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time.